What the f happened to Mikey Musumeci? He was doing this uh, breathing exercise, a really deep breathing and really hard breathing, and he actually accidentally tore his lung. That's what he just messaged me like literally half an hour ago, and he's in the hospital. So in a way, it's I'm glad he didn't compete because if he competed, the doctor said with a, with a, with a torn lung, you can get you can die, right? So there's been a lot online about one championship recently, especially from the Karate Combat CEO. Legends, you know. A lot of the theory is there's no money to pay the big superstars like that. There's no money left. And, you know, if you, if you look on, uh, online at the articles, and they're very hard to find, by, by the way, because one championship is really good at flooding the Internet with, you know, different articles. But if you really research and go down the rabbit hole, you'll see how much money they're losing. I'm not going to go into any of that. Instead, I'm going to focus on what happened to Mikey Musumeci leading up to 1168 Denver and to his eventual hospitalization. I'm going to do my best to be objective and show you only what we know and what has been said. So there's been a lot of controversy surrounding one and Mikey Musumeci getting hospitalized right before he was supposed to fight in 1168. Was this one's fault? Was this Mikey's fault? What actually happened? That's what I'm going to try to answer. And it will be up to you to decide what you think actually happened. So Mikey was originally supposed to fight Cade Rotolo in a submission grappling match for the co-main event in Denver. Mikey typically fights at 135 pounds, but for this match against Cade, he was moving up several weight classes. Then, around September 1st, Cade Rotolo announced that he was injured, likely after competing in the Craig Jones Invitational. At that point, the match between Cade and Mikey was called off. Mikey was then offered by one to defend his belt against another opponent at 135 pounds, which he agreed to do. And to be 100% clear, one never forced Mikey to take this match. Mikey even said so himself on Instagram. So less than a week before the match, Mikey began cutting weight and said he felt fine doing it. Between his weight cut and the day of the match, Mikey was doing Hickson diaphragm breathing exercises. While doing these diaphragm breathing exercises, he got a tear in his lung and what was later diagnosed as pneumomediastinum and was hospitalized the day of 1168. But backing up on the day of the face-offs when Mikey was supposed to do the ceremonial weigh-in, this happened. He missed hydration. This is how one handled it and stripped him of his belt. It's the co-main event for the one flyweight submission grappling world championship. However, ladies and gentlemen, Mikey Musumeci has failed to pass hydration. Therefore, this weight is not yet official. He has also been stripped of his one flyweight submission grappling world title. But there will be no face-off for the co-main event this evening. Then, on the day of 168, Mikey was hospitalized and was no longer on the fight card. So to recap, Mikey was supposed to fight Cade Rotolo by moving up several weight classes. Cade was injured, so one gave Mikey the opportunity to defend his belt and still compete at 1168. Mikey agreed, they found him an opponent, and he began cutting weight. At the time he began cutting weight, Mikey said he was in a comfortable spot. Chaudhry even confirmed this at a post-fight press conference. Because earlier in the week, um, Mikey was hovering around 150 pounds around that area. And, and then we asked him, hey, with Kate dropping out, what um, do you want to stay at catch weight at, at 150? Do you want to go down and defend your world title at 135? What do you want to do? He said, I want to defend my title at 135. And, uh, and, and then uh, a couple days later, he was, up, he was hovering at about 140. So he felt he was very comfortable. At some point, Mikey began doing the diaphragm breathing exercises, not to cut weight, but in his own words, to relax and meditate. And because of the altitude and the exercises, he tore his lung. And it was eventually diagnosed with pneumomediastinum. So who is at fault? What went wrong? In my opinion, this was a combination of bad luck and bad timing. Mikey knows his body better than anyone. And if he thought he could cut weight, that was his decision. It sounded like he was able to cut weight, but the combination of breathing exercises and the altitude change, remember they were in Denver, led to him tearing his lung. So that was the bad luck. It was also bad timing because Cade was injured and had to drop out so close to the actual event. And Mikey's only opportunity to defend his belt was at a different weight class. Should he have done that? Maybe, maybe not. Maybe one should have discouraged him from doing it. But both Mikey and one wanted to give the fans a show. And I have to respect Mikey for that. So it's an unfortunate situation, but the good news is that he's on the mend, he's safe, and he's getting better and will be competing again. 
But what do you think? Could this have been avoided? What would you have done if you were in Mikey's shoes or if you were the CEO of One Championship? Drop a comment down below and let me know what you think. Really curious to hear your guys' thoughts. And if you stayed to the end, I appreciate you. You might as well give this a like. Subscribe if you haven't already and join the gang. We are growing. See ya.